Hi, friends. How are you? How are you, Matt? Very good. We're doing good. This is uh, my abode. <laughs> this is uh, my headquarters for a brainchild and everything. I've been living in this thing for, you know, the summer and a few months, and this is where everything's been happening. All the graphics and stuff and all the... I had to ship all the boards and stuff out of here and my t-shirts and all that good stuff. So here's one of the, here's a board, one of the only ones left of this graphic. On the, on the top here I write, um, you know, where the proceeds are going to go. I'll sign one, I'll sign it right here and then I'll, I usually number them. Portions of the proceeds get donated to certain things, you know. This one uh, went to um, Project Semicolon. The start of Braintailed was initially t like, you know, I had uh, I had just left Almost and I had left Globe and I was in Barcelona um, filming for thra the Thrasher video that came out and I didn't know what it was. I, I don't know what avenue I was going to go with it, but I knew that it wasn't just solely I wanted it to be like another brand because, you know, who the hell wants to buy another brand? And so I had announced it, but this actual release of the first board and stuff was halted for like eight months. And throughout that eight months period where everything kind of started working itself out, um, dude, things started happening. Like the Ramers thing was the major thing. You know, over the years, Ben and I, Ben and a lot of everyone in skating became good friends with Ben. And um, the idea of him suffering to the extent in silence with whatever he was suffering with and nobody knew was something that really hit home for me. So that was, he had um, committed suicide from whatever it is he was going through in his mind. And the idea of him doing that was shocking to, to everybody because he was so not like that. It kind of switched my motivations and, and uh, really kind of started drilling in a, a purpose that I could um, have for this whole thing. If my friends are being bummed out and skating and depressed and stuff, I want to be able to have a place for people to come. And uh, I just felt like that would be more of a purpose for what I was doing. The section that I usually skate here is probably soaking wet. If I could get a rock and roll down here, I'll be stoked. 10 feet tall, well that's eight feet I would say, right? Yeah, look at someone put this here because they knew I was coming. Cheese and crackers, shit on the volcano. What do you got? What do you got? There was a um, panel discussion last night. A guy there uh, by the name of Joel Pippis from the uh, Push to Heal organization pretty much summed it up as best as we know. Is we need to start talking about mental health like we talk about physical health. But, you know, I'm not a mental health expert at all by any means. And this is just something I feel like I can I'm just trying to do my part, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you can tell from that Peter Pan I just did out of there, I, I think it's too wet to skate. So we're gonna go skate this other ramp we know of, uh, and hopefully get some footage there. Brainchild started with the intent to run toe-to-toe -to -toe with major brands in the industry. But throughout the course of the, the year, my, um, kind of purpose for the whole thing kind of switched. Are you going to rip this apart? Yeah, we, we're, uh, we're doing the demo together, right? I want to bring more awareness to issues within not only the skate community but everywhere else, but I, I just am involved more in the skate world, so that I feel is more of my platform. I can't, like, uh, reiterate enough that I'm, I'm no expert in any means of dealing with mental health or anything like that. And I, the only thing I do know is how it's affected me with some of the people that were close to me. But, you know, I'm trying to do something. And I think that's where this whole thing has to start, people trying.